If you're anything like me and get frustrated why your 3D models don't look as awesome as the ones that you see on the internet, you're probably missing a few steps. In this video, we'll look at 4 actionable things you can do starting today to become an awesome 3D modeler and produce quality looking 3D models that you can easily sell or use in a movie or a game project. So let's begin. First off, you need motivation to make awesome looking 3D models. Pulling off a 3D modeling project takes time depending on how complex it is. So you'll need to put in a bit of time to work on it. And to put in time, you need motivation. And what better motivation can you get as a 3D artist than to look to other 3D artists for inspiration? Just spending a few minutes each day looking at other 3D models and artwork alone is enough to increase your motivation. A few great places to find inspiration could be online forums like CG Society and ArtStation. You could also try joining Facebook groups related to 3D modeling so that you get a daily dose of inspiration while you browse Facebook. Not only can we gain inspiration from other people's 3D work, but we can also become a source of inspiration for other aspiring 3D modelers. And especially when starting out, posting your works in progress to online forums and community groups can help you improve so much as a 3D modeler. The feedback that you get from other artists online can be super valuable to your growth. It's sort of like having a number of mentors to guide your journey as a pro 3D modeler. The place that I frequented the most was the Blender Artists Forum, but that was probably due to the fact that I actually use Blender myself. I received a lot of help and a lot of feedback from the Blender Artists community over the years, so thank you so much guys. There are other forums that you can check out as well, like CG Society for instance, Facebook Groups has an active community of 3D modelers, Reddit is another great place, but for me, Reddit always feels like I'm sort of treading on eggshells. You'll need to be a lot more active on those places and provide more feedback to other artists and you should be less promoting of your own work, otherwise the Reddit community will pretty much shun you. But by being active with the 3D modeling community, your work gains more exposure and you can potentially develop more friendships and even a fan following if your works are really awesome. So that should solve all your lonely problems, uh, I guess. There are heaps of online tutorials that can teach you how to model pretty much anything. One of the best ways to improve as a 3D modeler is actually by getting hands on and making something. When you follow online tutorials and create a few 3D models yourself, your confidence will skyrocket. It will naturally increase and you'll be able to tackle future 3D modeling projects with ease. This is perhaps the most important one out of everything discussed so far. The true way to skill up as a 3D modeler is practice. The more you practice, the better you will become. Start your own projects and don't worry if you're not there yet. Just have faith that you will reach that level eventually, just as long as you keep practicing. The more you fail, the closer you will reach success. So keep failing, it's alright. As long as you improve a little each day, that's pretty much good enough. And that's where constructive criticism and feedback will help, where online tutorials and books will help, where inspiration from other artists will help. Learning new modeling tools will also help and make your life easier. You may have also heard of the famous saying that you can become an expert in any skill in the world as long as you practice this, that skill for 10,000 hours. And there is some scientific basis to it as well. With 3D modeling, you don't need to spend nearly as long as that. But the message should drive home that the more you practice, the better you will eventually become. If you're interested in learning Blender 2.8 and want to use it for 3D modeling, go ahead and download the Blender 2.8 modeling cheat sheet on my website. It gives you the most important 3D modeling functions you need to know and their shortcut keys. Print it out, stick it on your wall, and have it right there beside you whenever you need it. Click the link in the description below to download it straight away. I also included a bonus dining room scene that you can open in Blender and use in your next movie blockbuster. Enjoy!